let's take a look at the basics of the voice effects. We're gonna start with the biggest button because it's the most important one. The effects button here is your effects on and off. Now I have everything turned to nothing right now so I can actually turn that button on and off with no effect whatsoever on my voice. But if I wanna turn up the reverb here, there we go, we got a reverb. I can turn it on and off with the effects button. Saves you from having to turn the knobs up and down and it also allows you to set up effects and then just turn them all on and off at one time. So let's go into how the effects actually work. They're grouped by preset. There are six presets down the side here that you can create the vocal sound that you want and then save it to that preset. Presets are saved per profile. So you got six presets per profile, unlimited a number, number of profiles. You got tons you can do. So let's go through the effects one by one. We already started with reverb, so that puts your voice into a physical space. You've got echo, which is echo. It's the type of echo that you understand. Now that one's a multi-tap and really weird. It goes back and forth. You can do like a quarter note. Now here's a cool little trick. If you tap the active preset button in time with whatever music or anything that you're singing along to or using echo along to, that will set the tempo of the echo. So watch, I'll make it go faster and then slower. So here is the echo, here's the echo. Here's the echo. I'll make it speed up, speed up. Faster. Faster. faster, hear that? Now I'm going to slow it down. And now you've got a slower echo. So that shows you how echo works. Pretty cool that you can actually time things along, so it really helps you to engage your audience and, and make those echoes sound exactly the way you want. You've also got megaphone. So that's any kind of voice with distortion. Now this right here is an overdrive but you're probably used to more of a megaphone sound. So there are different styles along with each one of these effects, and we'll go back into those in a second. Now you've got a robot voice, so you can make the funny robot noises, which is pretty cool as well. And lastly, we've got hard tune, which is like the share or the T-Pain effect. And I'm gonna go in depth a little bit on how to get the most out of hard tune in a separate video. So let's walk this all the way back to the beginning on the app here. See, I've got some presets here. Big Verb, I've got Comms Radio, Hard Tune, Kid Robot, Pitch Down, Echo, and Tank. Now those are some that we've just included. They actually live up in the preset library here, but you can save presets yourself and bring them into the library and bring them back out into various profiles once you find something that you like. So you can use your presets here to manage what you're doing. Then you've got the controls for each effect. We'll just talk about the basic controls for right now. You've got your style, which is like the type of reverb. So we again remember that reverb is putting me in a physical space, and this is our emulation of a library. If I click something really obviously different, like hockey arena, now I have a huge voice in a hockey arena. So you can see that I can control the style. I can also control the level, and that's just mirrored by the knob there. So you can see I can turn it up and down. We go over to Echo and we've got the same thing. Now these are sort of musically based. It's quarter note, right? So one, two, three, four. Eighth note, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get it if you know music stuff. And then we get on to, to ping pong and slap echo and multi-tap. Those are the kind of stranger ones that will fly around a little bit more in a stereo field. We've also got pitch shifting and we have the style which is just limited to two. It's narrow and wide. So when I pitch my voice down, I'm gonna turn on the pitch here and I can bring it down, 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 and it can go way down and back up again. Now a wide range is two octaves, which means 24 semitones of shift. When you go all the way down or all the way up like that, you get more into the land of, it sounds like a funny effect more than it sounds even like a voice. So I'm gonna go way down, way down, welcome. Or conversely, I'm gonna go up, 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 now an octave up isn't quite as crazy as two octaves up, which gets really weird. And then I go back to the middle, and it's just me again. If I want a narrow range, it limits it to just one octave in each direction. So the most I can go down is down here, and the most I can go up is up here. So it gives you something maybe a little bit more um, usable uh, and not quite so much of an effect at that point. Now let's move over to the gender knob. Now people ask, what does gender mean? Well, when I was doing pitch shifting, every time I clicked it down a little bit, it's moving my voice down by a, a semitone, or in this case, two semitones from my normal pitch. 
to think on a keyboard, you're moving down two notes on the piano, and actually all of my notes come out at that, that uh, pitch. The, the gender is more like formant shifting, so it's not changing the uh, pitch of my voice, but it is still changing the tone. So as I start to move things down here, you can see that my voice sounds different, but the notes that are in my voice, the, the actual tones I'm saying or using are the same. So that's the difference between the two and a combination of gender and pitch can make for some really interesting effects. So sometimes what I like to do is pitch up a little bit, but with gender down. And that makes a different sound than if I had just pitched my voice down like that. So that's a, a different type. I've got my, my pitch down, but no gender. I can also go pitch down and gender up and get some interesting voices there as well. So you can kind of see how it's a mix and match situation with those. And you can really get to some fun, fun stuff when you do it that way. Next over, we have megaphone. Now there's no level control. You'll see there's no amount because it just takes over your entire lead voice and creates the megaphone or radio sound. So we've, we've got megaphone here. Oh, bring my pitch back up. There we go. We got megaphone. And then I can go down and I can choose something like radio, which is more of a radio voice. And there's a few others underneath here. And you can mess around with them a little bit inside the uh, advanced controls that we'll look at later. And then we've got robot. There's a, a basically just the three different styles of robot. There's no uh, level controls as well there because for the same reason as megaphone, it takes over your entire lead voice. It's not an effect added around it, but it's your entire lead voice is affected by robot. And then we get lastly to hard tune. Now, as I said, hard tune is our version of the share or the T-Pain type effect. And you'll notice that there is natural, medium, and hard. Now natural is actually fairly transparent, but it is still going to try and pitch shift you into the key and scale of any music that it hears. That's a bit of the black magic that TC Helicon has is that we can listen to music, whether it's a corded instrument like a guitar or a keyboard or mixed music, which is more common in streaming. You've got your Spotify running or you've got music in the game. If we can hear chords in that music, we can tune you to the key and scale of the chords that we hear. The more clearly we can hear the chords, the better that that tuning happens. So if you set it to natural, it's going to restrict you to the key and scale that we think we're hearing, but it won't sound super, super tuned. If you go to hard, then you get way more of the hard tune sound like this. So there's also the hard tune source, and that's where you're going to select what source you're listening to for the various chord information. And it goes from all through to music, game, a line in and system. And I'm going to show you in a different video, just a quick follow up, how to actually make that work. So that's a quick overview of the effects. Now each effect also has an advanced menu, just like we had on the mixer with the EQ and the compression and stuff that can slide out actually a ton of things you can mess with here. We'll go over each one of these uh, little sliders here in a different video that's a bit more in depth.